I mean, if you're a traditional automaker, you must be so scared right now. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you've watched all my Battery Invest Today videos today already and this is your fourth, you're kind of obsessed with Tesla. What a loser. Oh, wait. Anyway, for those of you wondering, I bought 72 shares of Tesla stock today. I sold my mum, my sister, all my internal organs. I mean, it was a fire sale. Everything had to go, even my mustache. You see, I'm a man of my word. I'm not just out here talking about this company with a bright future saying it looks incredibly undervalued with a 10 plus year investment horizon and then doing nothing about it. I'm literally betting the fucking farm on it, okay? Every spare dollar. I'm squeezing every drop that I possibly can to invest in Tesla stock at this point in time. And no, that's not investment advice. This channel is about me sharing my investment thinking, my investment reasoning, and my investment actions. And I'm gonna do more of exactly that after this. Hey guys, if you're in the US and you'd like to help out the channel and get a free stock, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account and fund it with $100, you'll get a free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake, also using a link in the description. Let's get back to it. So let's see what ARK Invest analyst Tasha Keeney had to say about Tesla's battery invest today. And just a quick note, guys, if you see anything weird going on in that bottom corner as I'm watching along, don't worry about it. Nothing to be concerned about. It's definitely special effects. Let's get into it. Tesla. Battery day failing to get investors charged up, stock down, what, some 5% pre-market. That despite Tuesday's big promises about a super fast Model S and dramatic battery and manufacturing improvements over the coming years. Tasha Keeney is analyst with global asset manager ARK Invest and joins us now. Tasha, I mean, really, I think investors are already charged up this year with the stocks up almost 400%, so we'll skip that part. What was most revealing about what you heard yesterday from uh, Elon Musk and crew? Well, I, I think that the key takeaway here is, you know, you, you mentioned the $25,000 car. Um, Tesla is reducing battery costs by 50%, increasing range by over 50% and reducing investment. So the cost to build factories by 70%. I mean, if you're a traditional automaker, you must be so scared right now. Um, I mean, you're, you're trying to save your core business in the pandemic. Um, and on top of that, you're trying to build an electric autonomous vehicle. And really, none of them has, have successfully done that. All right, guys, gather around. This is very important, okay? Are you ready? Traditional automakers at this point in time are not successfully mass producing electric vehicles for a profit. They still have to figure this out. They're not currently doing this, okay? This is really important. Tesla is the only automotive manufacturer producing at the same scale. They're the largest EV maker in the world right now in terms of annual unit volume, the largest. And they are the only company, the only company that is successfully doing this as profitably as they are at this scale. So not only do they have an enormous lead over everyone currently where they currently are without continuing to innovate any further, they have a multi-year lead. They're just getting started. They continue to accelerate and improve and find new efficient ways to do more with less. They're becoming more resourceful, less factory footprint, less cost, less capital expenditure per unit of capacity. This is really important to understand, okay? It's not hyperbole. This is a really important point. And the plan announced at Battery Investor Day is going to drive down the cost of the most important and most expensive component in the vehicle, the battery pack. The cost is going to be driven down enormously. We're not talking incrementally, like 10%, 5%. No, enormously. This is so important. Tesla is gonna take a quantum leap forward from where they are today, which is already light years ahead of everyone. This is the death knell for legacy automakers, the final nail in their coffin. They're toast. Their only option now is wave the white flag and say, okay, yep, we see, yep, you know what, hey, Tesla, please make us some batteries, or they go bankrupt. It's as simple as that. Let me explain. It's going to be cheaper to buy cells from Tesla than for them to make their own cells because their brains aren't big enough to get up and running what Tesla will have up and running, and they don't have the time anyway. It's like, why would you waste the time and energy and capital trying, knowing that you're going to fail? It's like trying to run down Usain Bolt when he's got a massive lead on you in a foot race. Come on, what's the point of even trying? This is the conundrum that legacy automakers now face. And if any of them have sense, they will be discussing this and going, guys, like, you know, honestly, we're not going to catch Tesla. What's our plan now? What do we do? 
Do we try and license from them? Like, do we try and get a partnership with Panasonic and help them to innovate in battery tech? Like, what do we do? We've got a problem. We're going bankrupt. We need to solve this. What do we do? This is a conversation that any reasonable executives would be having this morning after seeing Tesla's battery invest today. Um, especially on the EV front. Um, also, if, if you if you are building an electric vehicle, a lot of automakers are actually using a different form factor of battery than Tesla. So they, they couldn't even try to copy Tesla if they wanted to. They'd actually just have to uh, start with a whole new battery platform. Um, but on top of that, I think it's just going to take, you know, at, at this point with Tesla's patents that they have on these new this new uh, cell structure and architecture, I think that uh, it could be sort of a lifetime advantage that they have over the auto industry. I mean, I think it'll be massively difficult to catch them. I mean, this is, these numbers are a, a huge 50 percent reduction in cost per kilowatt hour. 50% increase in range, as you said, a nearly 70% reduction in investment per gigawatt hour. A moment of appreciation for Julia Chatterley and or her research team here. I mean, how often in the mainstream finance media do you see some Muppet who has no idea what they're talking about, hasn't done any homework whatsoever, going, I don't understand. Can you please tell me about Battery Invest today? Here we have Julia on the front foot proactively pointing out these numbers, reading out the massive, massive implications of what Tesla has announced at Battery Invest today and wanting to discuss this instead of going, where was the million mile battery? I don't understand. I want to pick you up on what you just said there, because in the past we've discussed this. You've said, look, Tesla's battery technology is, what, four years ahead of the competitors. Are you now saying if, and I'm putting a big emphasis on if they can achieve this, then that lead would be insurmountable. I, I think that's exactly what this means. And 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 the cheaper car, um, you know, all, is also another point in that bucket, right? Because now if you want to match Tesla on price and performance, how are you going to do that? They're just their cars are getting even cheaper. They're breaking into other customer segments. Um, so really, I think their their market share um, it, it should, should be a, a lot greater coming out of this announcement. Their, their future market share should be greater coming out of this announcement, too, um, because of that cheaper model. Uh, and I mean, traditional autos are really just wasting their time on things like fuel cells, which we know is a much less efficient technology, doesn't make sense from an infrastructure perspective. Um, so they really even hadn't, haven't even gotten their ducks in a row yet on batteries. And now Tesla's just running away from them. It's quite fascinating, isn't it, if we're talking about a $25,000 entry point. And actually, they were saying a fully autonomous Tesla, but we'll skip that bit because I know you get very excited about their advances in uh, <laughs> autonomous technology and their d data collection, too. Because you know, if you look on the lifetime basis of an electric vehicle, it works out cheaper, but it's the entry point, the relative height or the greater cost that's um, difficulty for many people here. If you can bring those kind of costs down, then you know, there's a double whammy here too, but this is all about the future. And I think that's what investors are, are focusing on today. It's, it looks great, but can they achieve it, Tasha? Why should we believe that they can? Well, I think Tesla sort of already achieved the impossible. Mm. And, and we know that they're um, the leader in batteries. Um, and if you think, if you think of where are battery breakthroughs happening, um, if they're happening in the lab in these research centers that are outside the company, where's the first place you want to market your new invention? It's going to be Tesla. That is a mic drop moment there from Tasha. Let's think about this point for a moment. Where is all the cutting edge battery research being done around the world? And if you have a breakthrough in battery tech, where are you going to want to take that to commercialize this invention and make yourself millions of dollars, change the world, bring this technology to market, to help improve, make things better, whatever was inspiring you to do this work in the first place? Who's the company with the biggest potential reach that can have the biggest impact that's most likely to find a use for your technology? It's Tesla. If we just reason our way through this logically, it seems pretty obvious that Tesla is going to have the lion's share of all future battery breakthroughs. Um, so I think that, on, you know, on top of their, their own internal work, they're likely seeing the most cutting edge research coming at them from every other place in the world. I mean, Elon Musk has said, if you can build a better battery, show it to us. Um, so so I, I think that it's, it's sort of an easy case to make that if anyone can do this, it's Tesla. I love that um, idea. And they're yes. a magnet. Yes. So a magnet for all those that have some kind of groundbreaking potential technology, they go to Elon Musk and Tesla first. Tell me why you're excited about the autonomous opportunities again here, because I know it comes down to the data that they're already collecting and again, an advantage that you think they have. Yes, well, one incremental update that we heard last night. Well, first of all, it's, it's notable that th this is battery day 
And Elon Musk mentioned autonomous technology a number of times. I mean, this is clearly so important to them and they, they know that. Um, and, and it makes sense to us because we see this as the next largest opportunity in the auto industry. It's going to completely change the way you look at an auto company if they pull off autonomous technology. They're basically going to have software as a service like margins. But last night we heard, um, so Tesla has been working on this update to autopilot for some time that basically combines two of the steps that you need in the process uh, um, to, to make a, an autonomous car successfully drive. In doing so, they get an order of magnitude improvement um, in the, the efficiency and sort of the, the, the processing that you can do in, in an autopilot. So, so that seems to say that, you know, this, this autonomous lead that they have other, over other automakers is, again, going to be accelerated um, by this new thing that they're building, which is this rewrite of their neural net. Um, so Musk said that that would come out um, in full production in the next month. Uh, so that's another really exciting development uh, that I think is likely going to be overlooked. Damn right, it's going to be overlooked, as usual. And to Tasha's points, this is really critical to understand. Tesla is pulling away with autonomy and battery tech, both of which will be trillion dollar industries on their own. And Tesla is in pole position in both. This matters. <laughs> Tasha, I'm going to get shouted out for asking this because we have about five seconds, but I know it's a long term price target. Post stock split, what number should we be focusing on for Mark Invest? So we're working on updated research. Look out for that. But our published price target right now, um, if you account for the stock split, split would be about $1,400 per share. $1,400. Yes. Okay. And so that's really taking into account the electric and the autonomous opportunity. It's, it, you have to value this company like a technology company that it is. You know, it sounds to me like ARC are going to be raising their Tesla stock price target after this new research is published. Let me know in the comments, did you guys read between the lines and see what I saw, or am I just imagining stuff? Maybe a little bit too much, Mary Jane. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget your free stocks with Webull and Stake using the links below. Deposit $100 in your Webull account, you'll get a free stock valued up to 1600 bucks. And Stake, spin the roulette wheel, you'll either get Nike, GoPro, or Dropbox. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.